Hi guys, uh, this is Anthony Godino, and uh, this is a short tutorial on Cam Studio, which is essentially a screen capture video recorder, and it is great for uh, creating tutorials um, like the one that I'm currently recording, and uh, it basically captures a screen, uh, and um, it's free to use. Uh, so first things first, how do you download it? Well, go to Google, and then just type in Cam Studio. In the very first um, um, search result, you'll see camstudio.org. If you click on that link, it'll bring you to the page. Um, and if you just scroll down, you'll find the links, the download link. So this very first one here, the current version is 2.6. I'm currently using actually 2.0. And um, you can just uh, you know follow the instructions, the normal instructions. It'll download the file, and then it just um, um, uh, you basically just uh, uh, you know download the uh, and install the application. I'd suggest that you also download this Cam Studio uh, lossless codec file because um, if you're, for example, uploading to YouTube and stuff, uh, they do have um, you know limits in terms of the file size. So basically, what this does is it compresses the file. All right, so let's just um, get down to um, you know reviewing some of the features and how you use this uh, uh, this wonderful Cam Studio um, so you know screen capture video recorder. So this uh, these little icons right here, this first button here is the record button, and uh, it it's actually red when you uh, when you are not recording. Currently, I'm actually using Cam Studio to record this video tutorial. So as I'm recording this, uh, that's why this uh, record button is grayed out. Otherwise, it's red. Um, this uh, the next icon is the pause button, and this blue um, icon here, the square blue uh, button, is the stop. Uh, the one next to it is uh, basically a toggle view. So uh, if you toggle it once. Uh, you'll see this little piece disappear. There you go. And then I toggle it again, you'll see the menu disappear. And then I toggle it again, it's the default um, back. All right, so this next one here is basically the display screen annotation. And uh, the one next to it, which is this SWF, is basically another toggle icon which toggles between AVI, a flash um, recording. So depending on which file type you want to use, AVI or Flash, uh, it, it provides both. So now just let's take a quick look at the um, menus here. So the file menu is basically the same thing, record, um, stop, pause, and exit, similar to these ones right here. Uh, the region, it allows you to um, record either a specific region, uh, and you'd use one of these options here. Or the full screen. I'm currently using full screen, but for example, if you do not want to show, you know, this menu and stuff here, or you want to hide some of the other things on your uh, on your screen, uh, that that's when you'd use uh, the region. Well, currently, I'm just using the the full screen. Under the options, um, the very first one, video options. Um, remember, I mentioned to you download the optional codec, um, uh, you know, file. This is where you'd basically um, Choose the compressor, and because it's um, you know created by Cam Studio, uh, it's recommended that you use that one. Currently, I'm just using the default Microsoft Video One. Um, all the other settings are uh, just default, so I'll just leave it at that. Uh, the next one is cursor options. Um, you can either hide the cursor. Currently, I'm I'm using the normal cursor, uh, but if you want to use uh, a specific cursor, you can use there's different other options here. Or if you've got a specific cursor that you want to use, you can download it from your computer. And currently, um, I'm, I'm I'm using the highlight cursor. So when I actually take my cursor, you know, around, you can see this little yellow little circle follow the the cursor. And you can actually change the size if you want to of the circle. And you can change the circle to ellipse. You can change it to square, or you can change it to rectangle. All right. The next one is um, options, and um, you should check this one here, which is record audio from microphone. I generally use like a, a microphone rather than just using the normal speakers from my webcam because it's much more clearer. the 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 volume and the audio is much um, 
much better quality when you use a microphone. Um, so you check that out. Um, and for example, if you're recording uh, or capturing a video game that you're playing and you want to uh, you know, record the audio from the speakers, that's when you'd kind of check this box here. Uh, the next one is the audio options. Uh, like I mentioned, I use the, the microphone and in here you can basically choose whichever uh, one that you use. Um, I'm currently using, like I said, the uh, a microphone. It's a Logitech USB headset, so that's um, what I've chosen. And the rest of these settings are default. Uh, the next is the the enable auto pan. Auto pan essentially is, for example, if you're using the region um, and it's just a little box, uh, you know, it's it's going to actually follow the screen's going to follow the cursor wherever you go. So that's basically, uh, if you want that to happen, you basically choose the enable auto pan, and in that case, you basically click on this and change the speed. Uh, Twenty is probably a little too low, maybe a little lagged, but if you choose around 70, 75, uh, the speed is much, uh, much better. You don't want to choose like 100 because that's going to move too fast and probably uh, it'll be difficult for uh, the individual who's actually watching the video tutorial. And uh, on the program options, I generally um, check the this box here or this uh, selection for the minima, uh, minimize program on start recording. Essentially what that is is as soon as you click the record button it automatically minimizes this. Uh, I'm currently not using it because I wanted to kind of review this um, Cam Studio but otherwise when I'm recording other um, uh, tutorials I'll, I'll generally keep that uh, ch checked because uh, that way automatically it um, minimize, minimizes and I don't have to manually minimize that. Um, all the other ones are basically just um, uh, default settings, but um, you know, obviously, if you want to change the um, the settings for the audio um, file size or the video file size, you know, you can go and change all these options here. Uh, you know, the uh, the frame rates and and things of like that. But uh, I just left it default right now. All right. Um, I really find Cam Studio. I've I've tried some other ones as well, uh, and there's some good ones out there. Um, Cam, uh, Cam Camtasia is a paid version, uh, not of Cam Studio, but it's a paid uh, version for the uh, screen capture video recorder, um, and it's got the whole um, you know whole package. But um, this one being free, it's, it's you know I find it really great. The only thing that I find missing um, in Cam Studio is the zoom feature. Uh, especially if you've got something, a small area where you, you, where you want to zoom, uh, that's the only uh, feature that I find missing from here. Um, you'll find other ones um, out there on, on the internet that uh, allow you that feature, but um, in most cases I found that uh, you know the video quality is not so good or uh, the audio and video are not in sync, um, which I think uh, are much more important for me in terms of features than the zoom feature. And um, I think uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, before I close, I just want to mention to you is when you're recording, one of the things you probably want to do is close other applications that you know you may have open because obviously uh, it takes up, but depending on the computer you're using and the memory that you've got, uh, it may slow down uh, the recording um, or the quality of the recording and the audio. Uh, as well as you probably want to, you know, also uh, you know close other applications like your email or Skype. Uh, because otherwise you're going to have these little notifications come up um, you know when you're recording so um, those are a couple of tips uh, to basically help you make some you know quality videos so I hope this helps uh, if you've got any questions uh, feel free to comment in the comment sections below all right so take care and hope you found this uh, helpful bye for now